Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix, and today we're talking about the power supply connector on the PS4 game consoles and what you should do if you tear yours off when you're trying to remove the power supply. So I get questions probably weekly from people who tear off this connector on the motherboard of their PS4 when they're trying to remove the power supply. Now the power supply connector connects into this, but some people accidentally pull on the connector on the motherboard itself and pull it entirely off of the motherboard. So I'm gonna pull this one off with a pair of pliers and then I'm gonna show you how to put it back on. Now please note this does require soldering skills, so if you do not have soldering skills, you'll need to find someone who does to help you put this back on your motherboard. Also stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll be answering some questions from my previous video from people who have asked questions about their PS4 console. So here's the power supply connector on the PS4 motherboard. If someone accidentally pulls up on this instead of on the power supply, it's going to tear off like that. And then you have this connector off of the motherboard. And then the motherboard looks something like that. You can see that there's four mounting pads for this connector and there's four pins there these two pins actually stayed on the motherboard and then these two came off now one thing to keep in mind these ones tore off fairly easily and cleanly sometimes actually part of this top layer of motherboard will come off and in those cases sometimes you do need to make a little trace that will connect to the circuit right here so for example if this part right here tore off then you'd need to get a little tiny wire and connect it right here, install the connector back on this area, and then bring the wire around and connect it to this pin on the connector. So now we're gonna get set up at my soldering station so you can see exactly how to put this back on. So here we have the close-up of the area where the connector was torn off. As you can see, this pad right here goes into this circuit trace, and this pad goes in it, this circuit trace. This pad is ground, and this pad is a power pad that is on this plane right here. So these two are easy to fix right here. This one and this one are not as easy to fix. If this whole pad has been torn up, you need to run a trace wire from this area all the way around and then put solder it to the connector, the pin on the connector. But luckily for us, this one just pulled off, and so these are actually the easiest to fix. So we're gonna get some flux to put on these and then we're gonna solder it back on. So here is our flux. This just helps the solder to flow nicely. So we're gonna put that on there first. Next, we're going to place our connector and keep in mind you can easily put these on backwards. So this part right here faces the edge of the motherboard or the top of the motherboard. So that's an easy way to remember, but you can accidentally flip them around and then your power supply will not connect properly. And even if it does, it's not gonna be connected to the correct pins on the motherboard. Now that we have our connector placed and we have our flux in the areas we need it, we're gonna solder on each pin. I'm gonna collect some solder on the tip of my soldering iron. I use quite a bit of solder on the tip at first and then I'm gonna push down right here while I solder the first pad on. Now that the first pad is soldered, I'm actually gonna push down with my thumb. You wanna push down really hard with this so we can get this soldered all the way under the motherboard and soldered securely. So hopefully it won't happen again where it pulls off. And we don't want it to get loose or anything like this. that. Obviously this is the main power for the motherboard. So we wanna make sure this is nice and tight on the motherboard. So those two are connected properly. Now we're gonna solder the final two pins. And I'm gonna put a little more solder on that one pin. There we go. And I am keeping pressure on the connector with my finger just to make sure that it solders on correctly and it's nice and tight. Now, we test it, we can push this around, you can see it barely moves. Now our connector is soldered back onto the motherboard. I'm gonna clean off some of the extra flux and I'm gonna call it done. So that's how you fix the power supply connector on a PS4 motherboard if you've torn it off. If you can't do this job yourself and you don't know where, 
to take it, you can always send it in to us at tronicsfix.com and we can do the job for you if needed. Now, as promised, I'm gonna answer some of your questions from my videos. Hey Tronics Fix, can you show how to pull the power supply plug from the PS4? I mean, if you could zoom in, show the best way to unplug it, mine doesn't want to. Yes, I can. So the correct way to pull the power supply plug off of the motherboard connector is to pull just on the plug part only. Notice I'm not pulling down here. This is the connector on the motherboard. I'm pulling right here and then grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers. Now these are very sharp needle nose pliers. The threads are very sharp on here. So grab it like this, wiggle it from side to side. You might have, might have to keep grabbing it further down as it pulls up and just pull out just like that. That is how you correctly pull out the power supply plug on a PS4 game console. I want to know that sudden power loss can damage PS4 or not. So if you have like a power outage or possibly lightning storm or something like that, a sudden power loss usually isn't gonna damage the PS4. If there's a power surge, like a lightning storm suddenly puts a lot of power through your game console, that can definitely cause a problem. Usually it'll cause a problem with the power supply, but it can actually put all that power right into the motherboard and cause various problems on the motherboard. Most of the time, not a problem. If it is a problem, if it causes a problem with your PS4, it's usually the power supply, but not always. So when my PS4 gets loud and it calms back down and it keeps doing that, that's normal then? For the most part, yes, that's normal. What happens is sometimes when you're playing a game that's an intense game or other times when you're playing, the PS4 fa fan will get really loud. That is mostly normal. And the reason I say mostly normal is because if your heatsink is clogged or the air intake is clogged on the side of the console, then that definitely needs to be cleaned out and that's part of the problem. That being said, however, the fan is supposed to get go higher and lower depending on how hot the console is. It's normal for these consoles to get hot and it's normal for the fan to get higher when it's hotter, cool it down, and then the fan will normally go back down, but not always. So just keep that in mind. That's mostly normal unless your console is dirty or the heat sink is plugged or something like that. That's gonna do it for today's video. Let me know if you like the question and answer session at the end. Thanks so much for supporting this channel. I'll be hanging around in the comment section for about an hour after this goes live so I can answer any other questions you have. And I hope you guys have a great day.